day 10 corrosion protection this is the 10th topic in the awareness course on asme 31.3 here we have already covered introduction part material requirement pressure design piping loads and stresses welding and joining flanges and bolting piping flexibility and support fluid services examination on testing here in the 10th topic we will be covering the measures to prevent corrosion in piping systems corrosion allowances and coating requirements cathodic protection principles so after covering the explanation to these three topics along with that we'll have a safety talk and then we have 20 mcq questions on three subtopics along with the correct answers we'll have explanations to all these 20 mcqs so that we can cover the subtopics clearly so let's welcome our friend peter who will be uh, explaining these three subtopics and first we'll have safety talk so let's begin with safety talk first hello everyone today's safety talk is about emergency evacuation and assembly points to ensure your safety during emergencies know your exits take a moment to identify the emergency exits and evacuation routes in your workplace this information could be life-saving during an emergency find assembly points Familiarize yourself with the designated assembly points outside the building. These are safe areas where everyone gathers after evacuating. Act swiftly. In case of an emergency, leave the building immediately and use the nearest exit. Do not win. Every second counts during an evacuation. No elevators. Never use elevators during an evacuation. Elevators could malfunction during emergencies and put you at risk. Stay at assembly points. Once outside, make your way to the designated assembly point and stay there until further instructions. This helps emergency responders account for everyone's safety. Follow procedures. Follow the emergency response procedures provided by your company. Knowing what to do in different situations can make a significant difference in your safety. Remember, being prepared for emergencies and knowing where to go can save lives. Stay vigilant and always be ready to respond during an evacuation. Hello and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're discussing an essential topic, measures to prevent corrosion in piping systems. Corrosion is a common enemy of piping systems that can lead to structural damage and reduced lifespan. Let's explore some effective measures to combat corrosion. Material selection, choosing corrosion-resistant materials is the first line of defense. Selecting materials like stainless steel or corrosion-resistant alloys can significantly extend the lifespan of the piping system. Protective coatings, applying protective coatings to the pipe surface creates a barrier between the metal and the corrosive environment. These coatings can include paints, epoxy, or even specialized corrosion-resistant coatings. Cathodic protection, this technique involves making the piping system cathodic, cathodic relative to another metal to prevent corrosion. Sacrificial anodes or impressed current systems can be employed for effective cathodic protection. Corrosion inhibitors, chemical substances, can be added to the system to inhibit the corrosive process. These inhibitors create a protective layer on the metal surface, reducing the chances of corrosion. Regular inspection and maintenance, periodic inspection and maintenance help detect early signs of corrosion and address them before they escalate. Timely repairs and preventive measures can significantly prolong the life of the piping system. Remember, preventing corrosion is not only about preserving the integrity of the piping system but also ensuring safety and minimizing costly downtime. That's all for today's session. In our next topic, we'll delve into corrosion allowances and coating requirements. So, stay tuned and keep expanding your knowledge. Hello everyone, welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're diving into an important topic, 
corrosion allowances, and coating requirements. Corrosion allowances play a crucial role in ensuring the long-term integrity of piping systems. Let's take a closer look at the key points. Corrosion allowances. Corrosion allowances are intentional extra thicknesses of material applied to the pipe to account for potential corrosion over time. These allowances provide a buffer, ensuring that the pipe remains structurally sound even in corrosive environ environments. Protective coatings. Applying protective coatings to the pipe's surface is another effective way to prevent corrosion. Coatings act as a barrier, shielding the metal from the surrounding environment. The thickness of the coating is carefully chosen to provide adequate protection. Matching material requirements. Coating materials are selected based on the specific requirements of the piping system and the type of fluid being transported. Compatibility between the coating and the pipe material is essential to prevent issues such as delamination or reduced effectiveness. The prop selection of corrosion allowances and coating materials is critical to extending the life of the piping system and ensuring its reliable performance. That's it for today's session. In our next topic, we'll delve into cathodic protection principles. Stay tuned and keep enhancing your understanding. Hello everyone, welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASMEB 31.3. Today, we're delving into another important topic, cathodic protection principles. Corrosion is a common challenge for piping systems, but cathodic protection offers an effective way to prevent it. Let's explore the key points. Preventing corrosion, cathodic protection involves creating a cathodic environment around the pipe which helps safeguard the metal from corrosion. This is achieved by making the pipe the cathode, negative electrode, in a corrosion cell. Sacrificial anodes, one method of cathodic protection is the use of sacrificial anodes. These anodes are made from a metal that is more easily corroded than the pipe material. The sacrificial anodes corrode in place of the pipe, protecting it. Impressed current systems, Another approach is using impressed current systems. In this method, a direct current is applied to the pipe, which counteracts the natural tendency for corrosion to occur. Cathodic protection is an essential tool in corrosion prevention, especially in environments where pipes are exposed to soil, water, or other corrosive substances. That wraps up today's session. In our next topic, We'll dive into quality control during fabrication. Stay tuned and keep expanding your knowledge.
Thanks, Peter, for detailed explanation on these three subtopics on corrosion protection. So we had our safety talk, explanation, and we had a quiz of 20 MCQs, correct answers, and explanations. So now let's see what we are going to cover on day 11. We'll talk about fabrication and direction. Format will remain same. We'll have a safety talk first, then three explanations on subtopics. Then we'll have a quiz for these three subtopics. Along with that, we'll have a correct answer and explanations. So this is how uh, we'll move further. So thank you, Peter, for detailed explanation. And thank you all for watching. See you in the next part.